What's going on? Beautiful, wonderful, smart, healthy, blessed, positive energy to all of you guys, people out there, fellow wolves, Whovians, Love, Love It's, Wilsons, Drum Ghouls, Pickets, Davises, um, Who's It's, Whatnots, McCoys, uh, and all the rest of you people out there. All right. Um, this particular video is a in the mind of the mad wolf. All right. So here's some thoughts. We've been trying to learn how to control the straw man, own the straw man. Should I own him? Blah, blah, blah. We've made lots of these videos. The other day, in, in my brain, because it never turns off, was like, hmm. I said, what are you thinking about? And it said, well, if giving our information to the state, the state then created this legal entity, this legal person, which is separate and distinct, from a living person, but we operate it as a person, which is a persona, which is to mean a character or the personification of that which is living and human. It's a likeness, but not the same thing legally. I said, hmm, okay, go on, Brian. You're very smart. Thank you. Um, so we know that the straw man is essentially a trust, something that needs to be funded in order to be executed, to be made real, in order for it to function, to, to be looked at as a legal thing in good standing. So we do know about the general trust or the SESTA-K trust, as a lot of us like to, re, you know, so I guess that is our funding. And then what do we actually end up doing also on our own? We put our houses and cars into its name. So it, we, we then provide more funding for it. The legal person, if we believe it to be a trust, we know it's created by the state, though they don't tell us the trust, we know it's a legal person. And in this case, it's a trust, something that can hold things. That's why you put these things into its name. It, those things then become public and subject to public things, scrutiny, taxes, et cetera, under the state's care which is then co-trusteed by all the other states, which is why you can go to other states with your information. They recognize who you are. You're part of their membership, which is a PMA, private members association, but it's so large, it's called the public. What if we took, now we know now that we, how we use it, it can be taxable or tax exempt. We know that it's generally considered a public thing. They allow us to have control over it by proof of the birth certificate issued by them. So if we can do anything essentially that we want with it, what are the outcomes, the means, ramifications, goods, bads, ugly, if we in fact create a trust to hold that trust? Hmm? Can a trust own a trust let's see what we can find on that and wolf what do you mean by that well i mean if we create our own document a trust and then we say that we are turning this trust private or the say it's an irrevocable trust which we'll is like this irrevocable trust called uh insignia 7.213 oh by the way did you know that you can use numbers or letters for your trust or symbols now the banks and whoever else won't like symbols okay they, they're gonna need some kind of legal type name so stick to the numbers or whatever else and i would go at least i don't know nine digits something like that maybe followed by a letter or something make it unique um and also i want to thank all the people out there who are in the vip Wolfpack, who get all the inside scoops and information, the behind the scenes videos. Thank you for being a part of that and supporting me monthly because that does help to keep the lights on. Things are going to stay on, right? I did pay them this, this, this month. All right. So my theory, educational information only has all of my videos and materials, is what if we took the straw man and put it into another irrevocable trust, which is considered private and foreign. Would that then make the straw man private and foreign and remove it from the public? Ooh, that's most interesting. 
So let's just kind of see what uh, we can do on it. Now, I'm not saying do this, but could you use that in certain scenarios and situations? You create the trust, you go get it notarized. Somebody, you know, uh, wants to make a claim or a charge against your straw man, and but yet now you own it. If you own something, then nobody can take that away from you, right? I'm going to let your mind use, use its imagination settings and, you know, if you guys have done this, let me know what, what you know, what, what experiences have you had with it? Are there any upsides or any downsides? I'm just theorizing. So let's see what we can, we can dig up here. All right, let me create a window. Hopefully you guys are feeling good out there. Thank you for watching these videos. Come on. There we go. All right. So we're on Google, or as my friend likes to call it, go ogle. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, uh oh. My phone is listening to me. Oh, didn't reply. Okay. All right. So can a trust on a trust? Well, here, hold on. First of all, what cannot be in a trust? Medical savings accounts, health savings accounts, and retirement assets cannot be in a trust. Hmm. Okay, but you can use them to fund your trust. Ooh. Putting your trust in trusts. So if the straw man is a legal asset, it says here you can transfer legal ownership of assets without actually giving up control over them. Hmm. Can you place a trust inside another trust? Can you have a trust with any trust? Let's go to legal answers. Can one trust hold another trust? For example, can a revocable trust have an irrevocable trust inside of it? Three attorneys' answers. A trust agreement can have multiple sub-trusts within it. Thus, a person can establish a revocable trust which benefits himself during his lifetime that create a sub-trust for his spouse if she survives him. Then, at the spouse's death, it can provide for sub-trust for his children. Okay. Yes, it is common for a trust to contain a sub-trust. There it is. There it is. So, this is new. This is on the edge of things. I've never, at least I've never heard of anybody talking about this. So, because this is new, though it seems like the information of a trust holding a trust is already out there, but I've never seen or heard of anybody talking about placing your straw man trust into a private trust. But in fact, the dynamics are already there. We just read them. Interesting. So that's it, guys. Just something for you guys to ponder. Now, if you've already done this and you know the goods, the bads, the uglies, and the whatnots, and the who's it's, and the what's it's, feel free to email me and let me know. All right. Like I said, I always love new and interesting information. Please vet your information before just sending it over. If you cannot, well... And it doesn't really do me any good because I like to pick up your work and these are the articles where I found it. Here's proof that I've done it. Here's proof how, how they responded, things of that nature. 
Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. And we don't want to waste anybody's time. You know, do we? No, we do not. All right, guys, that's it. So today's information was, can we put the straw man state created trust that they give us ownership over or control ownership control what is it hmm a little bit of both depending on how you want to perceive the information though they do give you a certificate for it which makes you in fact the beneficiary you've received something but once again they did create it so they are in the owners hmm. But you're the beneficiary. We're really making it kind of hmm. So I guess at the end of the day, it's yours to claim. And if well, they don't take any ownership, then I guess in fact it is yours as beneficiary. Now, isn't it? Or are you just operating it as the trustee, depending on when they want to tell you or switch hats on you and put you in that position. Oh, the devil's game. All right, guys, that's it. Take care. Just something to ponder. And uh, hey, as we move forward. We're bringing you guys more good information. Till next time, stay smart, healthy, stay safe. And I'll talk to you guys, well, probably in the next video. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great one. Peace.